idea of an elastic and an inelastic solution. The elastic of a linear elastic of a unelastic concept. And of course, let's not just have to look at that. It says the elastic and elastic with an elastic solution, kinetic energy is conserved. Okay, so what we have done now is just that the conservation of linear momentum. Um, die behoud van lineare momentum. So hier so sê vir jou, kinetische energie is behouwe. So, van dit kan ons dan afvlaai, if it is conserved, then that means that the sum of the kinetic energy at the beginning, die som van die kinetische energie aan die begin, moet gelijk wees, must be equal to the sum of the kinetic energy at the end. That is what it means if it's conserved. Bouwen betekent all the voorwerpen, uh, all the objects kinetic energy at the beginning, moet gelijk, it must be equal to all the objects kinetic energy at the end. Then it means the kinetic energy is conserved. Okay? And as it near elastic abort, and as if it's not an elastic collision, then it's not conserved. Then they will not be equal to one another. Nee? Goed. So, how can a bossing no elastic space or near elastic space? Let's say we have a solution by clapping my hands with a will it. So, find the energy, some of the energy that I use to clap my hands goes over into sound energy. Okay? And as I said, I will use the blue, so I will the sear environment. So, some of the energy is converted into uh, heat energy. So why then most of the time actually when we have a solution it's not an elastic solution. It's not elastic solution, but the type of the energy from the water and the boats and the other energy from love and Okay, so they can ask you the test and exam, prove whether the collision is elastic or not. So uh, bevise that the boats and can um, um, elastic as often. Now, when they ask you to prove whether it is or not, then can you not begin to write the script? You can't start with writing it like this. Because you can't from the beginning of say that it is like an equal. You can't say they are equal to each other from the start. You want to prove whether or not they are equal to one another. So, when you are doing your advice, then you have to first calculate the kinetic energy at the beginning and then the kinetic energy at the end and see if the two values are equal to one another. Dan is dat ik een bal op de plek kan zien. Hier is een nieuwe bal. Zie je dit? Dit is al guidelines voor jezelf. Dit is actually not something that you should study. This is just guidelines on whether to um, um, voorspel. Wat is voorspel in Engels? Predict whether it will be elastic. Oké, zo. Gewoonlijk als de bossing elastisch is, if it's elastic, then there's no permanent deformation of objects. So this is amper soos a ball, a tennis ball, but gaan, if you, if you slow mo, you'll see the tennis ball goes like this. Then it's the ball squish a bit up on the curve. So no permanent deformation. But as a car gaan boor, dan frommel en dan sy permanent verfrommel, then it will be permanent. So then it's not an elastic. Okay? Or, um, Elastic is when the objects are separate from each other after the collision, so they collide and then they're separate. Where inelastic is where they stick together after the collision. Okay. Good, so come on, let's look at the example here. Sefia, two play trains, or actually train in a, a truck or a trolley or whatever, of masses 4 and 5 kilograms respectively, move at a constant speed of that under frictionless circumstances. So, that means it's a isolated cell isolated system. So, the law of conservation of linear momentum comes. There is a compressed spring between the two trains. So, that's not like so a thing. That's not like a fear, what now is lost, can be a spring. The spring is released and the two trains move apart. So, let's talk about it and then we'll go. The 4 kilogram train immediately comes to rest when the spring is released. So, Ask you so. Why? Yes, a lot of the times, um, these scenarios will not make complete sense. One, 
Of the five kilogram train. Now, when the spring was released, there was a force, there was a botsen, there was a collusion. So, what are you going to use to answer that question? So, you want to? You have one? Yeah. Uh, Francis? Okay, and Jacob? Kijk, goed, so we gaan die wet van behoud van lineaire momentum gebruik. Hoe kom, hoe weet ek hoe ek moet het gebruik, want ons is botsing gewees. Wat sê, die totale lineaire momentum in een geïsoleerde stelsel bly constant. Oké, okay, so, the sum of the momentum at the beginning is equal to the sum of the momentum at the end. Daar is nie een E in nie, onthou, this is not a E. E means energy, it's not a E, it's a sigma sign. Okay, what betekent, so on the beginning, at the beginning, the two trains were connected to one another, so it was one thing geweest, so that is um, the mass of 5 plus 4 with the velocity of them both at the beginning, and it was fast on my and then at the end, they were separate, so we have the mass of the 5 times the velocity plus the mass of the 4 times the velocity. Okay, so if I substitute my values, this is 5 plus 4, and at the beginning they were moving at 2 meters per second. 2 meters per second, so I set the 2 in. What did I forget to do? Direction. Okay, I'll be weg all by rechts, so I kies rechts as positive. Is like on the five has the mass of five, and the five's velocity is the question. What is the new speed? So I can't know what it is, so it's final. And then they told me this thing, the four kilogram, immediately comes to a rest. So what is the velocity? Zero. So plus zero. So what do we get for the final velocity? Three comma meter per second and because we get a positive answer and because we chose to the right to be positive this will be to the right okay now this question will actually start with the theory question and the theory question will be something like um is this an isolated system or not explain is hier die geïsoleerde stelsel of nie? Verduidelik jou antwoord. En dan zou je sê, ja, dit is. Yes, it is. Why? Because it is a frictionless surface. Ok, so dan is dit een wrijving, ach, een geïsoleerde stelsel. Want if it was not an isolated system, then you're not allowed to use this um, formula. So, as a wrijving is, if there's friction, then you cannot use this. Go. Don't frog B for all of you. I'm sure whether the collusion is elastic or not. So, bewijs is hier die bossing nou elastisch of nie. So, you have to go get the sum of the kinetic energy at the beginning and the sum of the kinetic energy at the end. Benjamin, focus jy. Jy jok. Okay. So, ek gaan nou eerst kyk na die som 
van die kinetische energie aan die begin. The sum of the kinetic energy at the beginning. Ja. Nee. Nee. Nee, as a, um, sowieso, ons gebruik hier die formule, of jy die weet, as daar botsing is, in een geïsoleerde stelsel. Ok. Ja. Maar botsing kan ook wees, ah, ah, na klap, nee, is ook een botsing. Ok. Now, I don't think you remember what's the force of, ach, the formula for kinetic energy, kan iemand onthou, wat is die formule vir kinetische energie? Ja, of wan? Nee. Maar, maar goeie raas goed. Ja? Yes, mooi. So this formula is on your data sheet. The formula for kinetic energy. It's a half mv squared. Okay. Now aan die begin, at the beginning, the two trains were connected to one another. Hulle was geconnected aan mekaar. So dit gaan dan wees van die 5 plus die 4 kilogram. And that's at the beginning. Ok. So as ek dit gaan uitwerk, dit is a half. The mass, this will now be the mass of the 5 and the 4 together. En hulle snelheid was gewees wat 2. Squared. 2 kwadraat is 4. 4 mal 9 is 36, nee? Ja, maal een half is 18. And what's the unit for energy? Juice, 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 juice. Oké, okay. so that is the energy before the collision. Kom eens kijken naar na die tijd. So the sum of the kinetic energy at the end. Nou, op die einde was hulle apart. At the end, they were separate. So, dan gaan hulle twee formules sê. A half mv squared of the 5 at the end plus a half mv squared at, of the 4 at the end. So, na die botsing, after the collision, they were separate. So, I have two formulas. Ok, so, ons het a half the 5 the mass is 5 and we just calculated the velocity of the 5 to be 3.6 so it's 3.6 kwadraat and what was the velocity of the 4 at the end? 0 so it's plus 0 it all can never copy me Ik denk dat het so 36 is. Nee? 32, kom maar. Zo klaar. Oké. So, is het een elastic illusion? No. So, daarom ga je zeggen: No. Because the sum of the kinetic energy at the end is not equal to the sum of the kinetic energy at the beginning. What's wrong? Now you get the yellow webstick to do, and you can do all the homework, all the questions for homework. I think after the Afrikaanse class, you learned all the homework. Nee, you can now the homework. But the English class, you have not yet learned. You can do all the questions for homework. We will mark that on Monday. Now I want to go to the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're going to do the homework question number one. Okay, so we're
Okay, that's kind of VS. We're going to look at question four. Vraag vier. Now, seeing you saw a graphic, you see a graph and immediately you get a notice. No, I don't know if you saw a graphic. But the graphic is super duper easy. It's so easy. I give you a boom and it gives you a lot of information from the graph and it actually it's nice if you get a graph. Okay. Hello, Bagenda. So, this is question four of paper two of 2022. Ach, not paper two, paper one, sorry. Paper one. Okay. They tell you the trolley X with a mass of that travels at so much east and collides with trolley Y with a mass of that, which is initially at rest. Okay. So, I'm going to my prank to take it. I get a kariki, say a nice X. So, his mass is 1.2 kg, and his snelheid is 8, and he beweeg oos. You want to go to where? Where? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it travels east, so I'm just going to make an arrow to the right, and it is going to crash with... So, I bought Smeet Kariki... Y that has a mass of 0 0.5 and the velocity is 0 because it's initially at rest. Can you see that I've a prank? Can you see that it makes life makkelijker? You can actually see what's going on. Take your prank. You don't think it is a makkelijke vraag or you don't think you can do it. Take your prank. Now they say they collide. Hello, bots. Then I say, ignore all frictional effects. So, ignore all the wrijving, so you can't die weight van behoud van lineaire momentum. Gebruik. The velocity time graph below shows the velocity of trolley x. So, it is near the inlichting for x. Just the information for x. Before, during and after the collision with y. Okay, so, I weet nog nie na die tijd wat, is hulle een ding, is hulle twee goeders, wat gaan aan nie? Okay, their masses will remain the same. Because they won't lose mass. Okay, and I'll come and look at the graphic. If we look at the graph, the graph goes like this. This is velocity. This is time. This is 8. That is 4. This time is 20. This time is 20.1 and that time is 20.2. Okay. And all this information is just for trolley X. So it's of Kariki X. So that is not for X. It's not for X in any. Okay. So can I know anything in full? Yes. Can I fill in more information here? Okay. Ek sien voor die botsing was x snelheid 8. Wat gaan x snelheid na die botsing wees? 4. Ok. Weet ek was die snelheid van y na die tyd? Nee. Ok. Nou vraag hulle vir jou by vraag 4.1. 4.1. Daar is state the principle of conservation of linear momentum. Ok. Ek gaan nou dit doen. Dan vraag vir jou... Calculate the magnitude of velocity y immediately after the collision. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a And then they ask calculate the average net force. If they ask for the average net force, what formula are we going to use? Force, that's the of kracht. Impulse formula, ne? Impulse formula, because that has force in. And then I ask, is this collision elastic or not? Okay, dan gaan jy die kinetische formule gebruik. Nee? Okay, so I want you to do that quickly on your own now. I'm going to give you 10 minutes. <laughs> 